With microsurvey layout, it's really easy to lay out points and lines. We're going to show you how to lay out some points. If we zoom in on this area here in the map, one, uh, one easy way to stake out a point is simply select the point and press the stake out icon. But instead of doing that, what we're going to do is create what we call the staking list. And what you can do is you can add points that you want to lay out to the staking list by entering in a point range, or you can pick them from the screen. And I just want to make a note of the point range here, 19 to 22. And you can see these points have been added to a stakeout list. And what the layout list is, it allows you to organize your stake points and keep track of what points you've laid out on the project. So let's start with point 19 and press the stake point. And now that uh, we're, we're locked onto PRISM and what layout is doing here is it's telling us how much to move in towards the instrument and if we need to move left or right and also gives us an elevation here uh, or a cut or fill. So if I move the prism, you'll see those points update. And when you see green, that means you've met your staking tolerance and you can set what tolerance uh, you want to use in the stake settings. So at this point here, I'm happy with the results. I can zoom in on it if I'd like by pressing this. And we're just going to press the store position. And automatically, because we have a layout list defined, layout will find the, the nearest point to the prism. And that saves you a lot of time from walking around on the job site to points that uh, are maybe not the closest one to the prism. And you can control that with a setting. So if we now move towards point number 20, and now we're within our tolerances, and we're going to store that. And you can see layout has found the next nearest point for us automatically. And, and if I want to, I can zoom in so I have a closer a zoomed in view of the point we're trying to stake. So you can see our current rod position is within the tolerance, and that's defined by this circle here. And if we go back to our layout list, you'll see when you're finished staking a point, you get a little green check mark on it. And that tells you that that point has been staked and finished. The other thing in the map, when a point is staked, you'll see the point is hidden from the map. So again, you can just visually see which points you've got left to lay out. And if we just finish off this example here and stake near the position, and what I'm going to do actually is pretend that I'm not actually within my tolerances. As you can see we've got some red text there that tells us we're not meeting uh, the tolerance. If I try and store that point, you'll see you'll get a warning here that tells you you haven't met that tolerance. So I could continue if I wanted to, or I'm going to cancel because it's not what I want. Now we're within our tolerance and we're going to store. And you're going to see we had four points in our list. We've laid them all out and now we're getting uh, a message or a confirmation here that we've actually staked out all the points. And again, you can see in the screen here, all of those points have been laid out. And I can just continue and add more points to my layout list if I want or just pick a point or line on the screen.